Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can insert and customize text in Photoshop. So I've just got an A4 document up here and all I'm going to do first is to go down to the type tool here and just click. Then anywhere in your page just click. Some text will appear but all you need to do is just type out your own text. I'm going to use the return key. And you can see we've got a small underline under all of the text, which means that you are in typing mode. And once you've finished, just go to the top here and click the tick. And you can now see there's a text layer in your layers panel. Now, if you use the move tool at the top here, you can just click and move that text anywhere you like. If you want to customize this text quickly, you can go to edit, transform and click scale or you can hit command or control T which is a shortcut and then you can simply use your cursor to click on the boxes and move all of the boxes to stretch out that text in any direction to suit your needs or you can use the corner one like so if you want to keep the dimensions then all you need to do is hold down the shift key so click hold down the shift key and it will keep the dimensions for you. If I release that shift key, you can see what happens. And then just go ahead and click the checkbox. Other customizations that you can make are in this icon here. If you can't see this icon, go to window and go down to character and it will open up this panel. So make sure you've got this layer selected and any changes you make in here will apply to this text and that layer. So the top here, we've got your font. So you can click on the drop down and all you need to do is hover over each of the fonts and it will automatically change those fonts for you. So you can see exactly what your text will look like. The second one, you can have further options of that text. This one doesn't have that, but if I go down to Avenir, Go to regular, click on the drop down, and you can see I've now got a number of different options. This is simply your sizing, so you can click on the drop down and select a size. Alternatively, if you hover over the icon, you can see there's a slider and you can click and move left to right, although I do find that to be a bit clunky. Alternatively, you can select the number, you can put your own number in, or you can just simply use your arrow key up and down to adjust the size. That is applicable to all of these little menus. You can use the slider, you can pop in your own, or you can click on the drop down. It's up to you. This one here is the spacing between your lines of text. So if I just use the up arrow, you can see I'm increasing it and the down arrow, I'm reducing that space. That's incredibly useful. This one here I use a lot, and this is to increase or decrease the spacing between your characters. And at the bottom here, so this is to stretch your characters vertically. And this one here is to stretch them horizontally. Your color here, if you click on that, you have all the options here to click. You can use this slider, moving up and down the colors. And again, just select anywhere within this box. Once you're happy, just click OK. And down the bottom, we've got the normal options of bold, italics, etc. And you can just click through those and make any adjustments you wish. Those ones that stay dark or you've clicked on, you can just unclick them to remove that particular characteristic. So I'm going to change my font to impact in order to show you some more options. I'm just going to increase the size between the characters as well. And also the lines because they're a bit too close together with this particular font. So you can see currently my text isn't centered. If you want to center your text, I need to select the page so that Photoshop knows what I want to center this text within. So go to select, click select all, and you can just about see some dotted ants around the edge of my page. Make sure you're on the move tool and you have all the alignment options at the top here. 
So this will be the center align tool here. So just click that and it will align that to the center of your page. Then to deselect, press select and just deselect. Some further text options if I just zoom in. If you go to the transform tool again, command or control T, you can rotate the text. You can see my cursor's arrows have now gone to a sort of double headed curved arrow. That will allow you to completely rotate your text. But if you want a perfect alignment, you can go to this tool here and you can select 90 degrees or you can select 180 degrees. Or if it's not quite level, you can just press zero and then just hit the checkbox. You can also go down to your layer and just double click on the gray section and you'll have a layer styles panel that will appear. Down the side here, you've got lots of different options that you can play around with, but probably the one that's used most often is stroke. So if I click on that, you'll see there's now an outline around my text. If I select the actual layer itself, here I can adjust all of these options. So I can adjust the size of that stroke. I can adjust whether it's inside my text or whether it's outside or on the center of the line of the text. I can choose a blending mode. I can choose how transparent that stroke is. And I can also change the color. So here I've got a live view. I can just move the color up and down and select any color of my choice. Then just click OK once you're happy. And at the very bottom, we've got something called drop shadow. If you click on drop shadow, once again, click on the layer. You've got all the customization options here. And this is just really simple. Again, this is the transparency slider. You've got the color here. You've also got distance, the spread, and you've also got the size or the blur on this shadow as well. So you can play around with all of those options to suit your needs. Once you're happy, just click OK. If you go back to the text icon, you've also got the alignment options here. So you can line everything to the left, the right hand side, it will line up as well. And then to the middle. If you find that it moves, just simply go to the move tool again, and you can move that text over. If you want to center it again, go to select, select all, go to the move tool and just click center and it will center it so there's an equal distance between the margin or the edge of the page and the text itself. If you want to adjust any of this text or change the spelling, go up and deselect. If you want to change any of the text, go back to the type tool, click anywhere in your text, and then you can just simply delete and adjust the text as you normally would in any other software. And again, just go up and hit the checkbox. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.